come straight in and just tap very, very gently a little bit of that in your root base. And that is just going to pop your hair up, taking your thumb and your forefinger and just pulling that up. And that just makes hair that you've waved already just separate. And now we've got separation from two different types of product. We've got the much softer combinations of argan oil and smooth and shine combination with conundrum on the ends. And we have the much drier texture that we have in the root base from our expander dust. Expanded dust is a really, really lightweight powder. Comes from a kaolin clay, which is like a lightweight china clay. But it's extremely strong. I would say in our texturizers, that's the strongest of the family. Out of the three, we have texturizing foam that I showed earlier. You have a texturizing spray and you have a texturizing foam. Texturizing spray, I'm going to come in and use that in a little bit. So that was our little brief look at some wavy hair combinations to get you some great hold, etc. So I'm just going to remove our model. And I'm going to bring in a slight different one. So here's one I have prepped previously, just to give you a really nice smooth look. Don't worry about the paper. If you're uh, well, I thinking it's tissue paper, etc. That is Barber's crepe paper that we will use that backstage just to guard makeup people but it also just allows you to flat wrap hair to the head create beautiful center partings as you can see through here but now we're going to look at <clears throat> what we're going to need to achieve to create really really nice glassy smooth hair combinations of two let me just clean my hands off the beauty of unite products as well as you well know if you've been using them regularly is that the residue you get left on your hands is extremely minimal and that's because that makes them just so much easier to work with it's a, a big favorite of mine is that I can use so much and my hands are not caked in product because as we know then there's no big fatty parabens in them being a paraben is it's like a, a heavyweight um, waxy substance so they're free of parabens we have natural preservatives that makes all the products really really nice and lightweight so let's smooth out the ends of this let's get a glass like finish on the ends. What am I going to use? Well, let's have a look at combinations. I'm going to use a Unite flat iron. Heat wise, it's up to the highest one. So I want to do this very, very quickly. So to create glass like finishes, I've got once again combinations to use. But I'm going to start off with the argan oil through here. Just a small amount application wise, because I'm only using a small section into the palm of the hand. Just a small amount. And I'm going to drag that through mid lengths and ends. Okay, you see that palms of the hand, mid lengths and ends. That's all. A tiny amount, because you're not looking to coat the hair with an oil if you're coming in with an iron. Once again, I always like to come through, give it a little brush or a comb just to make sure it's distributed really, really well. It does help the product work through the hair. It's very, very important that your distribution's got to be even. And over the top, I'm going to use our glossing spray. Okay, lightweight thermal protectorant. Real lovely satin sheen. It's not heavy, it's not greasy. A lot of people use glossy sprays, find it's a little bit too heavy. Oh, that was beautiful. It's um, <clears throat> extremely lightweight, very, very user friendly. So, section wise, it always matches the size of plate I'm using. And with the comb, just working that iron all the way through nice and methodically. It's very, very important that we understand that the angle that the iron goes in so i don't come into the hair and clamp it straight away because i will get a crease mark on there so i come in and it's perpendicular to the hair and the section as much as i can make it and that just runs all the way through mid length to ends okay 
That's one section done. Let's have a little look at another type. I've got a question come in there. Someone's asking, would that fry the hair if you're using an oil? But if you saturate the hair with an oil, then you would have a tendency to do that. But, uh, you know, our oils are very, very lightweight. They dry off extremely quickly. So having that combination of application, combing it through, that's ample time for you to use. So now I'm going to use a little bit of hairspray. I'll come in and use our La Play root base. down to the ends. It's going to give me a slightly different feel when I do this. You're going to find you're going to have much more hold on there. But once again, application wise of, of the product and how you use the tool becomes paramount. It's much, much quicker. Okay, I tap the iron on and work the iron through very, very quickly. And then I'll come in afterwards with the glossing spray. Directing it roots to ends. Once I've applied that, back of the comb all work, works really, really well. And just binding that hair together, making it a really nice, smoother silk finish. And then what I'm going to do for this final piece, where it's thicker, I'm going to use. A little bit of one of my favorites blow and set lotion now this has got a really great high shine content but it's made and designed to go into wet hair so argument sake this you would you could say this hair's damp or it's been dried off but i'm only going to use a small amount for this section i'm applying that to the root base through here i would come in Brushing that down. And let's get the hairdryer on that. And give it some heat because it's heat activated. Plug in my dryer. So excuse the noise, which is very, very brief. I just want to show you how to do this. All it needs is to dry that off super, super quick. It's already drying off. And I would hold that with a clip. Ideally, you would have with the no crease clips. And then come over the top with a bit of hairspray. Once again, using our play. Back in with a hairdryer for this. I need the nozzle on so I'd have high heat low speed so you just come in you just layer this up just a few more times a little bit more hairspray so this is a the start of what I'm going to be using quite a bit of hairspray and a couple of different techniques for you. Always working roots to ends, nozzle pointing, roots to ends. And what that you will start seeing that do is it starts developing a huge shine factor on that root base, that combination of blow and set over the top. And then the hairspray has a really, really nice shine factor through here, but quite soft. Once again, very, very brushable. And then on the other side, I want to give you something a little bit stronger. Okay, this is a great technique, very much aimed at the professional, but you know, if you're an adventurous client, by all means, feel free. So I'm going to be using expander volume. This is a root energizer, very, very strong. 
Um, it's got a huge amount of hold to it. So using this as our prepping tool, stage one of styling the hair. So I'm going to come through reasonably close to the head. And as you can see, very, very short bursts I'm using on there. Working that through on the head. Let's force this hair to move away from the face. We'll use some clips always to help us out. If you have an assistant with you in a salon, get them to do this. So once that's gone in, you want to come in very, very quickly with a hairdryer. Dries up extremely quickly. It is designed to go in wet hair and to be blow dried. What you find is once you've used that, you come in with our strongest hairspray, Session Max. Now, this is really is that hairspray that I always used to say is that you put that on your bride, it's going to stay in there long after she gets back from her honeymoon and she's had three kids, etc. Um, it's still not going to have moved. You know, this is this is your number one super strong hairspray, really freezes it in. But there's different ways of using it. Instead of using it conventionally, like spraying it all over the place, I think with Session Max, my tip is to come in and just use it more like a direction and go in gently with certain places. But for this, we come in and we layer it in and we start creating like a shellac on the actual hair. So this is where our blending really starts to take place. And it's the combination of using our root energizer and a hairspray together that really creates a super hold and a great, great shine. So don't be worried that this makes the hair look a little bit wet. What are you going to do? You're going to comb that hair into place wherever you want it to be. If you get gaps in the hair, like I would do up here where I'll separate, you just come over with the back of your comb and just work that through. Straight in with a hairdryer. Dries off super quickly because it's a hairspray. I can, that, is all, that is already dry to the touch, but as hopefully you can see through here, as an amazing gloss starting to appear on that. Now, my other number one option for this, funny enough, smooth and shine with Session Max. A slightly different feel to the hair, but exactly the same result. Beautiful for doing finger waves over dry hair. Just using some of this in, but with a combination of the hairspray, you get great hold with a softness. Okay, so obviously you're applying, you know, a reasonable amount of this into the hair, but don't let that put you off. If you're doing something that you want a really great slick on, be it a ponytail or something like that, my number one for that obviously is still going to be the expander volume for using on ponytails. Just literally apply that all around just the root base. I might be able to do one for you very, very quickly on my previous model. So let's pull her up, because I think it's definitely worth showing people that. Sometimes they get a little bit carried away. So back to our previous model. Ponytails have always been problematic to hairdressers, especially when the beginning of their career. Um, you know, there is certainly some that you can think, oh, you know, I don't have to have them that tight. But for bridal, etc. You always want to make sure they look immaculate. And, you know, anyone who lives in sort of like windier climes where the brides are and you're putting the hair up, you need these ponytails to, to really secure themselves. By that, I mean, that, you know, wherever you position them on the head, if they're in there for quite a long part of the day, if they're not secure, they have a tendency then to sag. And so you as a hairdresser, you don't want to think, I'll put my ponytail in there 
And by the time you see the pictures of the, the bride later on in the day, your ponytail dropped to there, you will be looking at that and you won't be pleased. The client may not have realised it all, but when that hair type tends to sag is that you just think, well, you haven't secured that in properly enough. So let's cure that problem. Just show you the amount we're going to use. Once again, this is all about layering and blending and the applications. So we use Root Energizer. And as you can see through here, I don't use a lot. I just come in very, very lightly around the root base. And the beauty of this, it dries off so quickly. I'm not worry about soaking the hair. And there is a really nice byproduct of this, of when it dries off, is that when you let the hair down, you have a huge amount of volume on the root base because it's all been pulled back with this in there. So I'm not worried about the fringe. We can let some of that come fall out. And what this does using that root energizer, it, it helps me gather all the hair up very, very quickly and efficiently. Pull it away from the face and make sure it hugs the head shape, which is very, very important. If you've got problematic hair, as in like there's lots of growth patterns on there, well, that's simple to deal with. Just use a little bit more of the product and go through the hair a little bit more with care and methodically and blow dry it into the position where you want that ponytail to be. A lot of hairdressers don't realize that. You can just blow dry that root base into the position, as I said before, of where you want that ponytail to go. And that will just make your life a lot easier when you go to secure it. You're not gonna have lots of those sort of like ridges appearing, etc. that drive us mad. But I'm gonna show you a little tip to get rid of those anyway. So I'm using a bungee cord on one of these, if anyone's interested. This is just an elastic cord and it has two hooks on there. I'll just show you on there on the camera. There you go. Someone wants to know where I would you would find these. You can order these online. You can find them on anything on Amazon, etc. right now. And there you go. You've just got a really, really nice secured ponytail. All the hair is being pulled back. I'm going to come in. Bit of uh, Max Control hairspray over the top. Just to secure it. Now let's say argument's sake, we're not 100% happy with that. We see little ridges in the hair. We want to eradicate those. Very, very simple. Just come in with your tail comb. Go to the front of the head and just run it back in the direction of where the ponytail is secured. There you go, and that will just eradicate all your ridges out of there for you. Taking a section from the underneath, that's enough to cover our elastic up. So this hair may finish on the top, but that piece through here, if I just move that to the side, it's too fine to secure that. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna secure that on the underneath first, just with bobby pin, Kirby grip, whatever you wanna call it. Just one of those is sufficient. That will grab hold of that hair, secure that underneath. And then all you gotta do is then finish off that piece with a little bit of hairspray. Once again, control, small amount. Give yourself a bit of help with a bit of a hair dryer. If need be, just come in and use a little bit more. I'm using the play, but if you had, a, if you had stubborn hair, well, of course, go back and use a bit of session max, never going to do any harm. Consequently, you know, you don't want to come in and be crazy with hairspray. Short little dusting squirts of that. Once again, with back of the comb, just run that over the spray. That will be enough to lock that in and dry it off while it's still wet. Hair once again, lock it into the hair dryer. Mm. 
and that'll be enough there to hold it in, make it really nice and neat. So then let's have a look at the ends where they've got all that waviness. Let's do a bit of blending on this, shall we? So we want to have some separation, but we certainly want to have a little bit of volume to this. So I always like to think expanded dust is going to give us our greatest amount of volume. A little pin on this just to make sure we don't have any stray hairs flying out for the finished look. So another application, we've already gone through the, the tapping motion. Well, when you're coming up this way, just squeeze and lift that ponytail up. Pop it accordingly. It's going to add some great texture and volume to it. I always say go for a heart shape on the back of it through here. It's always the most visually appealing shape. So your heart shape comes out through here. And then to top it off, a bit of texturizer spray. So not as strong as our expanded dust, but I just think it just gives it a little something more to it. As you can see, short little squirts on there. If you so wish, you can just pull pieces of it out and just work it. I just think the added little tiny touch of moisture into this or the spray just adds some great peaciness. Just a really, really nice complement to the expanded dust. So there you go, simple ponytail, very, very quick. As you see, like the actual combination of the root energizer around the root base, as you saw, I didn't use a lot. A little bit of hairspray over the top. And remember, this has gone over all of what we were doing earlier when we were curling the hair, which had a slightly, what I would call matter, um, more of a textured finish look to it. We've eradicated that. You know, if you want to add a little bit more, come back in after you've used the hairspray. A little bit of glossing spray. Once again, soft squirts. Don't come in and saturate it. Just apply little sweeping motions over the top just to dust it off. And there you have really, really great juxtaposition of texture and softness and texture in the back and smoothness in the front. And let's just say a little, comp a little trick for you. If you feel like you had too much, you went crazy with the expand dust, you put some in there. Well, it's very, very simple. Come back in with a little bit of glossing spray, dust it onto the hair, and what you'll find is that will just soften that dust down a little bit more, and you'll just be able to compact the hair a little bit. So always good to have a foul safe, but that's also the best way of using only small amounts and just building up into the hairstyle as opposed to using too much. But it's always great to have a foul safe if you think you've used too much doesn't make the hair feel great. If the client says, oh, it makes my hair feel too stiff, etc." cetera, glossing spray is going to help you out immensely on that. So hopefully you enjoyed that one. I'm going to just do a very, very quick one. I'm going to want to touch on blending with some curly hair. We've got to use our Boing range. We have two applications on this. We've got Boing Defining Cream and Boing Moisture Curl Cream. Very, very simple. I've got some wavy hair I've already pre-done. How do I use this? Well, it's very much a bespoke um, way of doing it. So I'm going to start with our defining curl cream. And for this hair, it's quite sort of, you know, coarse, thick, etc. I'm just going to sort of use that amount. I'm going to put in an equal amount of the moisture curl cream, which you can see different color. It's white as opposed to the purple. There's no colorants in this, it won't hurt the hair whatsoever. And then I just distribute that in my hands, really emulsifying them to get together to blend them. Perfectly great. So you've got the real great moisturizing properties of the moisture, but you've got the whole property of the define because of that hair type. And then I will come in and then I will place it into the hair. I don't scrunch it all in straight away because I think that will just put in too much product in one place. Lifting the hair up. I come in and I start placing and working that in, and then I start scrunching it onto the ends of the hair. Once I've done that and I've got some great curl out of it, diffuse it, then I can add more and more to it. So 
very, very simple application wise of using the boy and define cream on what I would call, you know, soft, wavy hair on really curly hair. Same thing, but just rake it through with maybe a wide tooth comb like that. And you would just pull it through just to give yourself some definition. You can quite easily curl the hair with your fingers, diffuse it. It's great. It's good to go. So that was our live for today. Um, as I said, it was a really brief introduction almost of how we like to blend our products. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I'm really happy that we've got now, we're actually seeing the audience here on Unite Hair or on YouTube as well. As I say, come to our website, unitehair.com, sign up for a lot, lot more there. So our next live is the Art of Consultation, and that is August the 30th. It's in two weeks. Once again, 10 a.m. Pacific time. You can sign up to that in advance. You make sure it's on the calendar and you'll get updates on that to let you know when it's going live. Um, this is also recorded and you can be find it on Unite Hair TV under live replay. Any questions you have, please, about this live or future ones or past on Unite TV, email unitetv at unitehair.com and follow us on Instagram at unite underscore hair TV. Thank you once again for joining me. I hope to see you all again in two weeks.